Today we're going to take a look at my net worth, but first let me apologize. I'm not feeling very well, so I sound very congested. I am, and I still wanted to be consistent and show up here like I said I would. So here I am, hitting one of my goals of consistency, and we're going to take a look at net worth today. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Liz. This is Budget and Balance. Where I'm sharing my journeys to health and wealth through budgeting, debt payoff, weight loss, and whatever else comes along here in my 40s. If you're interested in those kind of topics, hit subscribe button down below. I'm also giving away $250 when I hit 2,500 subscribers. You don't want to miss out on that. All right, so these numbers I looked up fairly recently. Let's take a look. My pension. Now, you guys really haven't heard me talk much about my pension. It's kind of been a set it and forget it. Um, when you become a teacher in the state of Pennsylvania, you can sign up for different levels. I believe I'm at 8%. I can't remember if it's 7.5 or 8%. I'm not looking at <laughs> I'm not going to look it up right now. Um, but yeah, that's where it's at. So my pension number is actually from a few months ago. I haven't looked it up recently. And it won't be updated until like June, I think. June or July. I forget the exact date. So we'll do another update later this year, but for today we're going to use the most recent number I have, $42,107.49. I had my IRA for a very long time from pre-teaching days, is this off kilter here? And um, now that's rolled over to the financial planner and it's $3,500. I should mention when you are calculating net worth, you take your assets, the things that have value, your retirement, your savings, those kinds of things. Then subtract your liabilities, which are your debts, your student loans, your credit card debt, if you have a car debt, if you have a mortgage debt, um, those kinds of things. And then what number you get is your net worth. So right now, the pension, the IRA, and now my car, these are all assets and some people include the car, some people don't include the car because it depreciates in value. Right now I am including the car and the way I figured out the number $15,328 is I went to Kelly Blue Book, put in for private sale, listed all the features of my car. It gives you a low number and a high number so I averaged the two to get the $15,000 number. Then I have $25 in two savings accounts and that's it. So my total assets, $60,985.49. I do have a little bit of credit card debt, but I'm not going to include it today because when I originally calculated this, I didn't have any credit card debt. It's very, very small, so we're just not doing that today. And I'm estimating my federal student loan is $76,000. <laughs> um, my Perkins student loan, I just remember it a little more exact because it's 1818. And then my private student loan, I don't remember the last number you guys saw, but I have paid off a lot of it. We're going to estimate this to $8,900. And that's it for my debt. So my liabilities are $86,700. Now if I'm just considering my assets and liabilities, I have a negative $25,732.51 net worth. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was, especially considering that the private loan will be wiped out this year. Perkins student loan will be wiped out this year and the federal student loan oh, well that will be gone in 43 months <laughs> so next let's look here at my husband's now obviously we're married a lot of things are joint we do have separate accounts with the shared household account let me just say just do what works for you and your husband or spouse or whoever so some things that are taken into consideration here, but for privacy, I will not be showing you all of the exact numbers. Um, my husband has a 401k, his checking, his savings, um, the amount of cash that we both have on hand, 
There goes Luna. <laughs> um, my husband's truck. The value of our house. And then the one number I will show you here is our mortgage. We owe about $125,000 on our mortgage. So just this section alone comes to $219,590. Okay, so when I take into consideration my husband and the household share things, that's $219,590. And then we'll just add this all up to get our net worth. So our net worth is $193,857.49. <laughs> um, that's actually better than I thought it was. A lot of that is because of the housing market. We bought our house in spring of 2014. Since then, the you know the houses, <laughs> the market has just exploded, and so that is what most of our uh, net worth comes from. I'll take it and I'm excited to see it increase. For example, uh, once it's $86,000 of my negative net worth is there, uh, really this is going to explode and it's quite exciting to watch. So I hope you guys will stick around and watch it too and I will see you for Transfer Tuesday. Bye!